today, one of Ghana's most talented and the face of the BBC, Komla Dumo, died. He passed away on January 18, 2014 in his London home after a cardiac arrest having been on air the day before. On the 3rd of February, it's a lovely Sunday afternoon here. his body was flown back to Ghana and buried here. Many people remember him for his immense contribution to journalism, a major, a, a major part of his career which started here at the Multimedia Group Limited. His wife has been sharing some family photos online. One of his closest friends, Herbert Mensah, has also made a video in which he recounts what happened on the day. Now here is Herbert Mensah. Let's take it. World Cup. You know, it's uh, January the 18th, and uh, I'm sitting in a cab in, the, in Europe. And it's uh, that fateful day, January the 18th, four years ago, when I asked my dear wife to check on my younger brother, Kamla. And um, she called Kansama, went round there, and uh, the great man was no more. Uh, it was almost like a stake had been driven through my heart. It made no sense whatsoever. And yet, four years on, he's still to still remembered image of who he is, his voice, his stature, and what he stood for. And somebody who was a lot younger than me and looked up to me is something that will be with me for a very, very, very long time. And on every 18th of January, <clears throat> as it's in the first week of October, uh, Komla's birthday, I remember and others who love him also remember, he stood for so much. And for me, it's the laugh, it's the presence, it's his knowledge of technology, his love for music, but also his humility and his time for people who had less of, who were less of well off than himself. And I think this resonates with the global image of Kamala, who cared for his continent, and he cared for injustice. Uh, he fought against it, and at this time, more so than any other time, I think Ghana needs a man of his youth and of his stature and of his purpose, who meant so much to so many people, many of whom never got the chance to meet him. The 18th of January will always be special to me. I hope it will be special for you as well. And if you weren't lucky enough to meet him, all I say is try and live for what you think he stood for, because those values are missing in many areas of our lives these days. Come You'll always be missed. May he so rest in peace. Charles Mensah is another close friend of Komla. We'll have a very quick chat with him. Uh, Mr. Mensah, thank you very much for your time here on the pause. Four years down the line, uh, is the pain of his loss any less now? You see, uh, good afternoon. Um, indeed, uh, it's, still, it's still a pain to some of us who are very close to him. And uh, we still have the telephone number. Sometimes you feel that he's going to recall you. So we, still, we, are, we, are in, we are in recovered as yet. But mm. the actually, life moves on. I think uh, most of the standards uh, that he said in terms of African society, in terms of telling that story, uh, it's what we all look up to you guys in the, the media uh, to uphold those standards so that all in Sunday will believe that Africa can tell its own story. Mm. How are you keeping um, his memory on this day? Oh, what we did basically was uh, it's a solemn month for, for me, especially around this time because it's about the same time that we're trying to uh, keep the old man that that talk. So uh, you can feel that I'm kind of quiet. Um, this morning I wrote the prayer because my day creator of the universe so it can be so and also I pray for the children, the wife and the family, the sister, the father, to keep them and to them. Very well. We'll say a very big thanks to you and uh, for your time and uh, hope and pray that his soul rests in peace and hopefully God will give all of us um, the strength. We here at Multimedia of course are standing with the family and standing with everybody who loves uh, Komla.
praying that his soul continues to rest. Charles Mensah is a friend of Komla Dumont.